they're mad that I killed 50. I didn't kill 50. 50 somewhere making millions and millions of dollars right now. Yo, 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 it's your boy Gabriel Ellis, and we are back with another podcast. In today's episode, we're talking about Before I Self-Destruct. Before I Self-Destruct is a film that was written and directed by Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, starring Curtis 50 Cent Jackson, yours truly, Gabriel Ellis, Clifton Powell, Gabriel Cassius, Los Jones, Sasha DeVal. We shot that film back in 2008, came out at the end of 2009, I believe in November. Um, in order to see that movie, you would have you would have had to buy 50s album before I self-destruct and inside the album it would have been the deluxe package inside the album you would have gotten a movie along with a documentary about jam master j um we shot the movie back in 2008 the world was a little different then um when we shot that film there wasn't any social media so I didn't have a way to interact with people that really took a liking to my character or didn't like my character at all. Um, every now and then I'll be somewhere and people would uh, stop me and be like, yo, you the dude from that movie. I'm like, what movie? Before I self-destruct, fit these movie. I'm like, oh yeah. They'll either tell me they liked the character or they didn't like the character. But that was the way that I interacted with people you know and today is the same thing but today is easier to interact with people because of social media and different platforms like this um again we didn't really have that back in 2008 and if we did um i wasn't really on them a lot of people weren't on them now if a project comes out i'll know you know you can comment on you know my social media platforms on whatever one i'm on and you would tell me like yo i really enjoyed this or your character made me feel this way or i didn't like your character whatever you know um it did to you you could comment and let and i would see in real time so what i want to do is i want to go all the way back to before i self-destruct and and to the people that like the film or like my character in the film or didn't like it. Um, and let me know, you know, your thoughts on Raphael, on my performance. Um, how did he make you feel? So one time, you know, I was in the mall, my wife and my son at the time, and we're in a sneaker store, it was Champ Sneaker Store in Jersey. And there was a security guard in the mall. So we go on a Champ sneaker store and I see, he see me as I was walking in the mall and he's just, you know, he's staring at me. And, you know, I'm from Jersey. So I'm like, you know, I'm not thinking he's like, yo, is this the dude from the movie? I'm thinking like, you know, why is he grilling me? You know, I'm out of my business. I'm with my family. So we go into the store. So then I see him walking to the, to the Champ store and he's like looking at me. So now I'm on him. I'm like, you know, what you looking at? You know, this is what I'm thinking of my mind. Um... Uh, so he comes up to me. He's like, hey, your fan. I'm like, what's up? He's like, yo, um, yo, you was in that movie? I'm like, what movie? He was like, before I start to struggle. I'm like, oh, I kind of let my guard down a little bit. I'm, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's me, man. He's like, yo, yo, bro, I love you, man. He's like, yo, you was going off, man. He was like, yo, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. He's like, yeah, man. He was like, yo, man, you good, yo. I'm, I'm like, thanks, man. I appreciate that, man. Dapped him up. He went on his way. I'm in the store shopping, looking for some sneaks, you know. Um, next thing I know, he brings the whole mall into chance. So it's me, my wife, and my son at the time. And I'm like, like, yo, you know, like all these people. So I'm looking at my kids. I'm like, my, my son and my wife. I'm like, oh, come over here. Next thing, the, the whole mall surrounded us in champs, like people going crazy. Um, it's my first time ever experiencing anything like this. Um, so they're starting to quote my my lines from the movie, and there's a line that I'm like, "Yo, get get that back in motion." 
And they're all saying it, laughing or whatever, having a good time and quoting some of my other lines with my characters cursing like crazy. And I try to I try not to say bad words in my real life. And I definitely in front of my family. Um, sort of cursing or whatever. And, you know, man, I appreciated them liking my performance. But um, I got a bat in there. You know what I mean? But I was very appreciative and I am very appreciative. Anybody takes the time and they come up to me and tell me that they either like my performance or they didn't like my character because of a way I made them feel. But still, I like that because I made you feel some feel something. Right. So that's my job as an actor. So I appreciate that, you know. But back in 2008, 2008, that was the only way that I could interact with somebody is if they see me, if they happen to see me. Now, if you see somebody in a film or a TV show and you like them, you go Google them. What's their name? Go to IMDb. What's their name? Go right to the social media, find them, comment. And in real time, you could tell them how you felt. If you liked them, you didn't like them. Um, or whatever. So what I want to do is I want to go all the way back to 2008, 2009, actually 2010 as well, because the film came out around that time. And if you seen my character, Raphael, and he made you feel some type of way, if you were in agreement, what I did in that film, if you weren't in agreement, let me know what you would have done. What would you have done? See, Raphael, he was a guy, he's in the streets. And I had money. But I ended up getting locked up. And Raphael was dating Princess. So here it is. I thought that this girl, she really loved me. She really cared for me. So the money that I had from that from making it the money that I was making in the streets, I give it to the girl that I love. The girl that I think loves me, which is Princess. I'm thinking the whole time I'm locked up, when I get out, I got a good girl. I'm thinking in my head, yo, I got some money. I can get back on my feet. You know, Raphael didn't have any intentions of ever giving up a life of crime. It was just part of the life. That's what he did. He get locked up every for maybe a bid, do it like a year here, two years here. Come back out, get back on his feet because he would have some money which he gave to Princess, and he would get back on his feet, get things back in motion, which is one of the lines. Where's my money? I'm trying to get back in motion. <laughs> so what would you have done if the girl that you trusted with all the money that you had left took your money, spent it on another dude, started dating another guy, and you come home to find that out? You see, Raphael wasn't having it. He wasn't having that. So he flipped out. That's what Raphael did. He flipped out. There's a lot of people I would see online, um, especially on YouTube, people that go to the, uh, the Before I Suffer Struck movie. It's on YouTube. Um, some people are like, man, that chick is trifling. I ain't mad at homeboy. I would, I, you shoot. I ain't mad at him. I would have did the same thing. This is what girls were saying. Guys is like, yo, I feel you, man. See back, man, that's why you can't trust them. You can't trust women. I'm seeing those comments, right? Then I'm like, yo, dude ain't have to react like that. We love 50. They can't sit they a lot of people not separating 50 from the character, right? So they, they're mad that I killed 50. I didn't kill 50. 50 somewhere making millions and millions of dollars right now. Hey, yo, fifth holler at your boy. <laughs> but um, yeah, some people mad at that. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to create this video, man. I'm going to post it on my page. Now, um, let me know. Do you approve of what Raphael did? Would, or, would you do the same thing? Would you do what he did? Or tell me how you would have handled that situation. And this goes for girls and for guys. Let me know. Did I handle the situation right? Were you a, did you really like, did you like the performance? Um, and if you did like the, if you didn't like the performance, put that in the comment section as well. But let me know, how would you have handled it? Let's start that conversation down below in the comment section. And I promise you, everyone that comments, I will reply back. This is Gabe Barellis, man. 
I reply back to people, to everyone. Go check out on all my other videos. See if I reply back, I do that. That's what I do. Um, because I enjoy this, man. I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy talking to people about things that they take a liking to me, you know, about or in, you know. So, yeah, let me know. So we're going to go all the way back to 2008, 2009, and 2010 when the film came out. Um, and let me know, how did you feel about Raphael? Um, this is your boy, Gabriel Ellis. This is the Gabriel Ellis podcast. And um, your boy's out. Holla at me.